Welcome to Bite Size Science, brought to you by the American Chemical Society, the world's largest scientific society. I'm Adam Dolevsky. So here's a story that might float your boat. Scientists in China have created miniature, super buoyant boats that float better than anything else out there. These boats float so well that if you made an ordinary life preserver made out of the same material as these boats, you could float a horse without sinking. For years, scientists have studied the surface of water really closely so they could figure out how to build better and faster boats and ships. Scientists have often turned to nature for inspiration. One source of inspiration is the water strider, whose highly water-repellent legs allow this insect to literally walk across water surfaces at high speeds. But researchers still have not found a way to apply this amazing phenomenon to technology. Two scientists named Kin Min Pan and Min Wang made several miniature boats, each only about the size of a postage stamp. They used pieces of copper mesh to create their boats. The scientists coated each piece of mesh with chemicals, including one called silver nitrate. Here's a microscopic view of the silver-covered copper mesh. The branched shape of silver is what keeps water molecules away, making these boats super hydrophobic. Huh? <laughs> That's just the scientific term for super floaty. Oh. The scientists found that their mini boats floated much more smoothly than those boats without the special chemical coating. These tiny ships were also able to carry a surprising amount of weight. The best performing mini boat still floated with two times more weight than the scientists thought it could hold. Amazingly, the boat stayed afloat even when it was partially below the water's surface. The scientists said that these little boats' incredible buoyancy came from pockets of air that formed around the silver-coated copper mesh. The scientists say that it would be hard with today's technology to make these mini-boats full size. However, it could lead to a new generation of small aquatic robots for spy missions and other futuristic floating devices. That's it for this Bite Size Science video podcast. Check out our blog at www.bitesizescience.com. For the American Chemical Society, I'm Adam Dolesky in Washington. I'll see you next time.